I do feel like I do have a, a better mindset and more belief in my abilities on the squash court than I have in the past. Like a little bit of the COVID shutdown was, was good for me in that sense. Like I was like very, very keen on hanging up the rackets. I'm like, what, is, what am I doing? Like, why am I doing this? But People always tell me, like, oh, you can be top whatever, and I'm like, okay, like, I'm just going to try my best here and see what happens. Like, not sure how long I would go on for and stuff, but I guess now after having some good wins, um, it seems more tangible to me, which is kind of more motivating. So I do feel like I do have a, a better mindset and more belief in my abilities on the squash court than I have in the past, which I guess is a good thing. I know myself and if I'm just training for January, February, March, maybe if we have something Mar end of March, April, I'll go back to like not enjoying it as much. So I'll have to figure out something where we do a mix and match of squash and just functional fitness, exercising. I love running and like being outdoors. So focus something on that and then once we have some more concrete tournaments on the, the calendar, then I'll like step into another mindset, I think. I think it's, that's kind of what's been happening in the past couple of tournaments. It's kind of been like, which obviously needs to change a little bit because I need to put in some more work training and stuff. But the past few ones, it's been like kind of leisurely. And then once it's been confirmed that there's been a tournament and I'm entered in, which is usually like the last day of the entry list closing and stuff, like I'll start training, have like pretty hard, so. I feel a lot better with my game um, at the moment, honestly, than before, even, not even just physically, but mentally, actually, most importantly, because I think even at the start of last year and probably up until the black ball opened, the first one in March, um, like with my headspace, I wasn't really that keen. I was, wasn't that into it. Like I was actually very pleased. We were told that we were gonna have a forced break of squash. I was like this, I've never had that in my life. I've always, I've always liked to take time off, of, but I always felt guilty about it. Just knowing like other people are training, I should be training, stuff like that. So when I was like, squash is closed like um, amazing actually I was very pleased about that um, so we've had about like it was a five proper months or something when it was like maybe three full months of no squash and then when I went back to the states um, in June I was able to play once a week once or twice a week or basically whenever I wanted to I felt like I should start playing a little bit and it was fun in the beginning and it was actually like important to me because I was like, hey, let's, uh, Amanda was with me as well, so I was like, hey, let's go play um, when we really didn't need to. So that was kind of eye-opening to me, and I guess the time away um, kind of made me be like, okay, like, uh, this, this is a choice. Like, I'm not forced to do this, especially during this time. It's probably, if anything, it would, be, would have been the best opportunity to be like, okay, I'm going to tr transition over. Like, I was still kind of just getting a glimpse of, like, the top platinum tournaments and stuff. So, like, I feel like I maybe wouldn't have, like, missed anything because I wasn't entirely there yet. So it could have been a very easy transition to be like, okay, I've g given it a go and it's not for me. But I kind of, right before Manchester, I actually almost did. Like, I was, like, very very keen on hanging up the rackets but my coach was like Sabrina you just the first week or two of training always is the hardest like just give it a go go to Manchester we saw the draws playing Camille it was like whatever just go have fun and then we'll figure it out and if you hate it then we'll do something else and like Manchester was good the Egyptian Open was better um, so I felt like more confident and felt like I was doing the right thing and this is more a bit of my more of my place so I do feel a lot better after like looking back on the year and stuff and I don't know, things happen for a reason and maybe like a little bit of the COVID shutdown was, was good for me in that sense. Um, so I think to, it's just lifestyle, the lifestyle kind of like did me in a bit, just packing the bags, traveling tournament to tournament. Like it was pretty exhausting, which no one really tells you in the beginning, especially coming from college. Like when I would just train for the season and it was my senior year, 
so obviously like I just had a lot of fun with my friends at the end of it and then kind of went straight into in, like a hundred percent like it moved here like was training all the time so it's just kind of a bit of a too large of a switch like too quickly I think and I was like all in which is why I kind of wanted to move to Egypt because I was like I need to get going from the past couple of years just kind of like training leisurely I would say so I was like wow this is and I was you know you're I'm like lower ranked so we're the players aren't making as much money and like the tournaments aren't that big so you're like okay I'm really not getting much recognition because he's playing like smaller tournaments with at smaller clubs and there's like three people in the crowd and I'm like what is, what am I doing like why am I doing this but stuck with it and I'm very pleased with how it's going so far.